If you're one of those people who've tested your tap water and you've tested ammonia in your tap water, this video is for you. This video is going to focus on chloramines versus chlorine, the difference, and how we deal with it in the aquariums. So your first step, if you don't know if you have chloramines in your water, is to test for chloramines. The best way to do this is you have an API Liquid Master test kit, and you're going to follow the instructions and you're going to test for it. A lot of taps will have 0.25 parts per million ammonia in it. It's not actually ammonia in your tap. When it tests for ammonia, the API Master Kit actually tests chlorines as ammonia. So I've been trying to make this video for a long time because a lot of people don't understand chloramines. Um, and it's really important that we do because it's really, really vital to understand it for our aquariums if you're using tap water. So let's start off with what chlorine is. Chlorine is something that water reservoirs where we get our tap water comes from. It it's something that that's added to the lot last process of cleaning the water to help when it comes through the pipes it keeps it clean before it comes to our house and we drink it so what it does is it cleans it and if you've been in the hobby for a long time you know about taking the water and letting it sit in a bucket to evaporate the chlorine overnight it's important to know that this does not work for chloramines and what chloramine is it's different than chlorine because chloramine is ammonia and chlorine that has chemically been bonded together to form chloramine. Chloramine does not evaporate, which is awesome for us because it means the long distance that it comes in the pipes to get to our house so that we can drink it, it's staying clean the whole time. There is no studies that prove negative effects of chloramines on mammals or people drinking it. But there is studies that prove that reptiles, fish, and anything that's not a mammal, basically, will be harmed by drinking chloramines. What does this mean for our aquarium? Well, it's important to note that most water conditioners that you will get will instantly detoxify chlorine from any water that you have. And a lot of them claim, like Prime, Prime will claim that it detoxifies chlorine and chloramines, and many others will. The truth is they do but they don't. They break the bond between ammonia and chlorine and then they detoxify the chlorine. But the ammonia is still left. And as you know, any ammonia in an aquarium is bad news for your aquarium. So what do you do about it? You can't exactly get rid of it. Prime claims to detoxify ammonia, but it doesn't either. Prime is the only water conditioner that claims to detoxify ammonia, and it doesn't. It only binds ammonia for 48 hours. So if you ever test your aquarium water um, before adding Prime in and there's ammonia, and you add Prime and there's no ammonia, and then you test a couple days or a week later and that ammonia is back, that's why. Because it's not actually dissolving it. So now you're beginning to think that having chloramines in your tap water means a lost cause for your aquariums. Well, there's still a lot that you can do. You can remove it using products like ammo lock or liquid ammonia removers. I don't recommend those. I've recognized a lot of negative effects from using any liquid ammonia remover, but in an absolute emergency, you can use them. Any um, hard packages of ammonia remover is your best bet, but even at the worst, most most water treatment centers will only have 0.25 parts per million of ammonia in their water, which can be bad for really sensitive fish, but for really hardy fish, it's not something that you worry about too much. But in your aquarium, you already have the ammonia that your fish are producing, and your, nitro your nitrogen bacteria, your good bacteria in your cycle is usually taking care of all that. But when you add in more ammonia, they have double the work and then they're having a hard time and every time you test your tank you don't know why do I always have a little bit of ammonia I don't understand everything should be working it's because you're adding in more ammonia essentially most of the time if you give it about a month your bacteria will eat up all that extra ammonia as long as your tank isn't overstocked but if you are you're gonna keep building up that ammonia and it's gonna be a problem your best bet is to use RO water if you can. RO DI water, reverse osmosis deionization water is your best bet, but 
most RODI filters will not take away chloramines. They will take away the chemical bond and they'll take away the chlorine, but they have a hard time with the ammonia. So you need an added canister that specifically takes away ammonia. So you always test, even if you have an RO filter and it's doing the job and you think it's doing its job, always test it for your TDS, total dissolved solids, and for ammonia. So you use your little API liquid test kit and you test it. If there's any ammonia, you gotta add that extra little canister. Also a big one, please remember, the only way to get rid of chloramines, step one, is to break the chemical bond. There's no other way to do it than to break the chemical bond chemically. I have read garlic, I have read carbon, I have read put an onion in it, put lemon in a pitcher and leave it in your fridge overnight and it'll detoxify the chloramines. None of this will work. You have to chemically break the bond. I hope this video helped you out if you were confused about chloramine or the ammonia in your tap. Chloramines are not the end of the world, but they are a little annoying and tricky to deal with, so I hope this helped. Also keep in mind, if you're going to go to the local store to get RO water from one of those little machines with the big jugs, always test it when you bring it home, because sometimes it's just tap water. When we drink it, we don't really know the difference. So they can kind of get away with that sometimes, so make sure that you're always checking for that. And that was my video on chloramines. I hope you guys enjoyed it.